Hello, and welcome to Moster Does the Crossword. This is Moster. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey through various, mostly New York Times, crossword puzzles. This uh, edition focuses on the New York Times crossword for Sunday, August 8th. Uh, we have this section, we have a very long section where you hear me talk about things and yell at myself and make mistakes. And then we have a review section and there are two uh, videos available so you don't have to listen to the super long thing unless you really do like it for ASMR. Um, anyway, this puzzle I thought was a good one for a Sunday. I wasn't ultra keen on what I kind of think is a gimmick, but I also way overthought it because it was whatever time and blah, 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 but I really needed to close one um, the night of because I hadn't done so the two days before. Um, so, yeah, from here you will either go right to the review, in which case, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, otherwise, on to the whole thing. Anyway, thank you again for coming along with me. Uh, I'm still figuring things out, but I'd love to get some feedback, so if you have any, that would be great. Or if you would perhaps be interested in sharing or subscribing, that would also be very much appreciated. So without further ado, I bring you today's programs. And I wish you a peaceful journey. Alright, I guess I'll try to do the review now. I'm tired. We'll see if I decide to add anything tomorrow. I'm certainly not cutting this shit together tonight. Um, anyway, spoiler alert, final spoiler alert. Um, yeah, this was fine for a Sunday. 47 minutes is good for me for a time. Um, I have a whole bunch of screenshots that I'll get to. Um, this thing with the jigsaw puzzle, the picture, the note, uh, picture perfect moments. I was just, I could not get my head around like twisting the fucking pieces for whatever reason. Maybe because I was distracted by other things. Nevertheless, um, that was that. Uh, and then it was typos, and this ended up being wreck. You know, when there were a couple of other things that I had to fix. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was good. There was also this thing, which, I mean, I guess they're kind of talking about putting a puzzle together, but you could also, I kind of thought about it as Ikea more than anything else, um, but you've got, first you've got to pick up, whoops, that's not where we want to go, first you got to pick up the pieces, and then go over the edge, right, fine, Play with matches to connect things up. Make sure you exercise your freedom of assembly is the biggest stretch. And then you're sure to get it together. And that's the end of that. And then that makes that thing. All right, I'm going to pause this and swing over to the pictures. Uh, yeah, hold on, please. Okay, so first place I paused it here was Admen. This is a pretty common one, Madison Avenue workers. Sometimes you'll see Ad Rep, but not usually. Um, you see Tushy over here uh, for 19 across. I think I went back and took a picture of that. Um, and I think Tree's wrong also. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, so there's the picture I took of Tushy for Keister, because that's a pretty cute one. Um, and Alpha Romeo, I wanted to take that picture because that's another one where you see it every once in a while and it's an interesting spelling. Um, yeah, so here, beehives but not hornet's nests is updos. I had updo up at, uh, whatever that is, six across, uh, which turned out to be perm, so it was still hair related, but I was wrong. Um, Elation for euphoric feeling. This is one that you get fairly regularly. It's not bad. Uh, 
It's very. No, I don't want to say. You know, elation is very nice. I thought it was. I always. I thought it was orgasm because I'm moster, but it wasn't orgasm. Um, let's see here. J -j 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 Yolo for daredevils hashtag. Yep, that one makes perfect sense, but you might not think about it. Um, what do we have next? A door for love to bits. This is a very, very common one. Not just here. I've seen this one used by other puzzlers as well. Uh, castigates tears into. Again, castigate meaning to tear into. To, you know, be right in front of your peers or whatever you want to say like that. Gets wild and crazy. I had goes bananas. It's wrong, but I like goes bananas. I like bananas. I don't, for some reason, eat bananas as individual things. Um, but whenever I see the word bananas, it makes me think of Katamari. And that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, so here's when I looked at this note. Uh, the five shaded jigsaw pieces into the box at the bottom. And again, I got stuck on them not rotating, but of course... And if you watch the other video, you can see me... Sp I probably spent ten fucking minutes on it. On just that last little thing. Before I decided to say, yes, that's what it is, and moved on. Anyway, yeah, I don't know why I picked this one out typing. They just had typist. So be on the lookout for that some more. Uh, St. Joseph's University. Yeah, I mean, I just threw this one in there because it's a thing, really. An adoptee rescue dog. Not something I would have thought of right away, but other people might. Uh... Keats, Otis, you know, poet. Keats, I guess he wrote a lot of things about people, nice things about people. I'm not a poetry student, even though I'm going to be doing that class. Um, what did I want to say here? Fed for Government Economic Organization. Yes, very cute. Because um, it sets the rate. Uh, Titus and Tiberius, Emperors. This is just another one to point out somebody might get stuck on because it could be something having to do with Shakespeare which is kind of where I thought it was to begin with um, and then similarly here Bosom Buddies Best Pals just a slightly different construction you might not be aware of uh, and yes wink wink nudge nudge am I right with R-I-T-E I don't know the origin of that I don't think I care enough to look it up but it's interesting enough for me to point out anyway. Maybe I'll look it up and maybe I'll talk about it. But, I don't know. Keep breathing on that shit, that's for sure. Uh, Goddess of Wisdom, Miranda. Miranda was wrong. It ended up being Minerva. Um, and this is when I started to get this shit together. So, first you're going to go out. Yeah, we talked about pick up the pieces and then play with matches. And go over the edge. I talked about them in order before. State Flower of Utah Seago. This is one that you do see from time to time. It's a good thing to know. Another general good thing to know trivia wise. Um, and yeah, we talked about that. And we talked about that. This took me way too fucking long. Uh, word that becomes its own opposite. T for there. Yes, very good. Uh, play again. This one I called out because this is not a common usage, at least for anything that I've seen, to say re-show to play a TV special. Um, so that's why I wanted to point this one out, because it's just a weird thing. Um, Little Bouquets, Posies, yeah, I thought this might be like Aromas or something, but Posies is better. Um, we're almost to the end, so... Yeah, there's Minerva when I fixed Minerva. Um, and that's the video. And that's this video? I don't know what this is. Anyway, that's it. Uh, this, again, was a pretty good puzzle. I was happy with it. I was happy with my performance, except for how long I got wrapped around the axle of the stupid um, thing at the bottom there. But, yeah, a good time. Uh, I think it's pretty rewarding too. I'm still not entirely sure what the shape is supposed to mean, but I don't really fucking care. Anyway, with all the swearing and everything else aside, 
Um, this was a pretty good one. So again, uh, yeah. Thank you for sticking around and I wish you a peaceful journey.